Hey everyone, Mark Luber here. Welcome to JD Careers Out There, where we get you career advice from fellow lawyers and non-practicing lawyers to help you achieve success and happiness in your career. Sometimes we bring you straightforward mentoring videos, and other times we're exploring particular career paths you could take with your law degree. Today we're talking to Doug Kamek. He's a retired U.S. ambassador appointed by President Obama, who today is a constitutional law professor and the Caruso family chair at Pepperdine University in beautiful Malibu, California. Doug started his career as a practicing lawyer working at a law firm in Chicago, then switched careers to become a law professor, got the prestigious White House Fellowship and became a White House Fellow, and that led to him joining the Reagan administration where he served as the Assistant U.S. Attorney General running the Office of Legal Counsel under then Attorney General Ed Meese. Uh, very exciting stuff. So here's a look at my interview with Professor Kamek where I asked him to tell us about that role running the Office of Legal Counsel is a pretty incredible office. It's literally the general counsel of the, of the executive office. Uh, so... And are you in the White House? Is your office in the White House in a case like that? Or where, where are you located? Uh, the Office of Legal Counsel is immediately adjacent to the Attorney General in the Justice Department. So there's, on the fifth floor, there's a rotunda and a, a, f a fairly famous area of the building uh, because there's a lot of pictures that were taken during the civil rights era of Robert Kennedy working in this in this office working through the night and uh, so we're immediately adjacent to the Attorney General because we're called the Attorney General's lawyer uh, when there is a difficult question that requires um, a disposition to resolve a dispute between two parts of the executive branch well you're not supposed to sue each other if you're both working for the same president. Uh, so this is sort of an in-house court, as it were. So when HUD disagrees with labor or commerce or one of the other agencies, we resolve wow. uh, that dispute. Uh, when the president is uh, asked to sign legislation, it comes to our desk first, namely uh, for purposes of reviewing it uh, for compliance with uh, the Constitution and for compliance with the president's program. Um, we do executive orders, uh, you know, so when the president uh, has the authority, has been given the authority by Congress to act on his own uh, upon the finding of certain uh, matters, uh, we prepare those things. Uh, one of the things that that job allowed us to do was to have the courage of our convictions, because that was that's the way it was designed. It was designed to be the place where politics didn't enter into it, where it wasn't a policy call, it was a legal call. Right. And uh, so, you know, we, our approach always was to come in to the Attorney General or the President uh, or the White House Counsel, whoever was the source of the, the, the request, and say, look, you know, we're not saying this is the policy you want or that we endorse the policy, we're just saying this is what the law requires right. and this is what we think you're objectively uh, expected to do. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, that allowed us to do what I, th I think was a noble thing, which was to extend the coverage of uh, federal programs to these individuals. But sometimes it meant we were disappointing the president. In the full interview, Professor Kamek shares his advice with us on breaking into paths like his, and he gives a great inside look at what it's like to be a White House fellow and to work at the highest levels of government. And he brings his unique perspective to share great advice with you guys on things like uh, following your passions, finding the right fit for you, and going through a career change. It's really great stuff. You could find that whole thing at jdcareersoutthere.com, and you could take a shortcut to the site by going to jdcot.com. And if you're already there, you could just scroll down to the full video. Make sure you become a member so you get access to the full interview, and of course, access to lots more exclusive content filled with great advice. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.